So there's a new phishing attack called browser in the browser. Let's check it out. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I want to cover some more cyber news. There is a new phishing attack going around. It's called browser in the browser and I want to go down and show you guys this attack and what to look out for so you can be safe while browsing the internet. So let's hop over to my browser so we can check out an article on this new type of phishing attack. Okay, cool. So this is on a website that I frequent called the Hacker News. And it's an awesome website to keep up with what's going on in the cyber world. I definitely recommend you guys check out this site so you can keep up as well. But as you can see, it says new browser in the browser attack makes phishing nearly undetectable. So let's check this article out right fast. But this is kind of like an example right here uh based on me just browsing browsing over the article this is kind of what it's actually doing it's basically opening up another browser within your current browser with the login information you know like when you go to let's say your paypal account it'll pop up with a small window for you to actually log into it and it looks like it's within the browser itself well that's exactly what this thing is doing so let's uh scroll down a little further but it says a novel phishing technique called browser in the browser attack can be exploited to simulate a browser window within the browser in order to spoof a legitimate domain thereby making it impossible to stage convincing phishing attacks and right here it says according to penetration tester and security researcher who goes by the handle mordex uh, on twitter the method takes advantage of three porty single sign on options embedded on websites such, such as sign in with google or sign in with microsoft or sign in with apple you know what i'm saying so that's exactly what they're using uh, and he actually re replicated it and I'll check I'll check I'll show you guys the video down below but it says while the default behavior when a user attempts to sign in via these methods is greeted by a pop-up window to complete the authentication process the BITB attack aims to replicate this entire process using a mix of HTML and CSS code to create a entirely fabricated browser window. And as you can see by this image right here, it's basically open the, opening this up within the current window that you're actually in. You know what I'm saying? And it looks like it's, you know, a separate pop-up, but it's actually within the browser itself or within the actual window itself. Uh, so that's a crazy, you know, uh, new method that they're using. And I wanted to show you guys this really for your own protection. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to accidentally log into your account, but you're actually using one of these um, phishing attacks and typing in your username and password and all that good stuff and giving away to hackers. But it says, combine the window design with an iframe pointer to the malicious server hosting the phishing page. And it's basically indistinguishable, uh, Mordek said in a technical write-up published last week. It says JavaScript can be easily used to make the window appear on a link or button click on the page loading, etc. Interestingly, the technique has been abused in a while at least once before. Uh, in February 2020, Zikalar disclosed uh, details of a campaign that leveraged BITB trick to siphon credentials for video game digital distribution services, uh, service Steam, by, by means of fake Counter-Strike, uh, so CSGO websites. So that's where it was used. It was used in the gaming world uh, previously. But it says normally the measures taken by users to detect the phishing site, including checking to see if the URL is legitimate, whether the website is using HTTPS, and whether there is any homograph in the domain, among others. And I definitely recommend you guys do that. 
you know when you're browsing the web on your computer just verify as well as on your phone uh, just verify that it is using HTTPS as well as the URL looks legitimate you definitely want to check that out and make sure that that is the case but it says in this case everything looks fine as the domain is steamcommunity.com which is legitimate and is using HTTPS but when you try to drag this prompt from the currently used window, it disappears be beyond the edge of the window as it is not legitimate. Browser pop up and it's creating created using HTML in the current window. So that's one way you could tell. So if you move that pop up and it doesn't go outside of your browser at all, or it disappears when you move it over, then that lets you know it's uh, one of these phishing attacks. Uh, but it says while this method significantly makes it easier to mount effective social engineering campaigns, it's worth noting that potential victims need to be redirected to a phishing domain that can display such fake authentication windows for credential harvesting. But once landed on the attacker's own website, the user will be at ease as they type their credentials away on what appears to be the legitimate website because the trustworthy url says so and that's that's one of the issues right there uh you can make this look you could probably put this link in here whatever you want it to be and it looks legitimate uh, based on because all this is is html and css you can you know design a website to make it look like you know anything within that page so that's where the problem lies you know it looks like a real pop up when actuality is within the browser itself so definitely look out for this uh i just like i said i just wanted to share this with you guys because i thought it was a interesting article and an interesting new way of conducting phishing attacks that attacks that you all guys all need to be aware of so please like share and subscribe to the channel and let me know if you like these cyber news uh, videos that I'm currently doing, as well as my Linux content. You know, I'm mixing that in with it as well. But if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Please comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, keep it techy.